What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp plugin review. So this week we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to create curving lines between shapes. Uh, it's called Helix Along Curve. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So it's amazing the number of times in SketchUp that you need to draw a curve between two points. While SketchUp can draw some curves using the Arc tool, it gets really difficult to draw lines that curve in more than 180 degree fashion between two points. This extension allows you to draw a helix between two points. Plugin name, Helix Along Curve. Plugin developer, 3D Albertsoft. How much does it cost? Free. Where do you get it? It's located in the Sketchication Extension Warehouse. You can also follow the link at the sketchupessentials.com slash helix along curve. This tool is basically a robust toolbox designed to create helixes along paths. While the name is helix along curve, it really just creates helixes along any path. It includes the functionality to affect the radius of the helix along both ends, allowing you to create a helix that is wider on one side than the other. It lets you adjust the number of laps the curve makes along your path, as well as the smoothness of your curve. Phase allows you to adjust the beginning rotation of your shape. Noise allows you to randomize the width of your radius along your helix. The adherence to the curve options affect how closely your helix follows your curve. In addition to these options, Helix Along Curve also comes with the option to create a tube along your curve. You can adjust both the thickness of your tube, as well as the number of sides the tube has to manage your faces. Usefulness and functionality. This extension is an example of a tool with a purpose done really well. It's designed for one thing, drawing helixes, and all of its options work really well in helping you do that. It's easy to learn and easy to use. Value, this extension is free. There's no reason to not download it and try it out. Ease of use and documentation, this is a very easy to use plugin. The menu has a lot of clear options that are fairly easy to understand. In addition, the developer has a pretty good video online that shows him walking through all the different options. I'll link to that below in the show notes. I'd really recommend taking a couple minutes and watching that video for some great ideas on how to use this extension. Overall, sometimes you find an extension that just works. It's not confusing and it does what it's supposed to do. This extension is great for creating helixes, so go check it out today. So that's where we're gonna wrap up this plugin overview. If you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using this tool, if you like it, what you've, what you've used it for. I'd love to have a SketchUp conversation with you guys about that. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp videos every week. Um, if you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Uh, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month to help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. In any case, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.